Yeah, this is JD79, and um, first I think the latest went on the um, the nor'easter of 2010. Um, I think we've got about a foot of snow um, thus far on the ground. Snow sticking under the walls and the house and everything. And uh, yes, indeed. Um, It's actually, and, and actually I'm throwing this in the storm, um, south of where I live there's actually tens of thousands of people that are actually without power right now because the snow is like, down there is like heavy and wet, and um, I still got power, yeah as you can see the light is here, and um, it's just, I came waiting on everything. And, um, men's are picking up right now, and, um, that's, that's the latest in the storm. And yes, um, my yellow light of death number 18, I'm just, you know, so ticked off on why so many people um, get these things. And um, especially for those who got it during Christmas and uh, trying out the new games only to get the yellow light of death on the PS3. Um, yeah, there's one person telling me, it says, Oh, as far as the ninth, um, we're sick of this stuff. And I gotta tell you this, man, um, these purposes of the yellow light of death video is to um, tell Sony um, saying that, look, this is a serious problem. And you guys aren't doing anything about it. I mean, I mean listen, I got um, so many people posting videos of the problem. Many people try to fix it, only to have a break again. I mean, oh, come on. I want to scream at them. I just want to um, knock their doors down. Tell them, says enough and is enough. Don't play their customers more, or they're going, or you're going to start to lose some. And you're not going. To, and it's up to a point where it says if PlayStation 4s get the yellow light of death or whatever light of death in here, they're just not going to buy any more of your systems. Certainly, um, and I want to tell you something right now, all these repair bills is hurting the sales of the games themselves because these $200 worth of repairs, or I should say hundreds and hundreds of dollars of repair, just really cuts into their sales because of the games. I mean, I'm going to tell you something. You can't play your games if your system doesn't work. And the only thing you can get, and um... That's why if they have to pay the repair bills in order to get the system to work again, or unless they want to take a screwdriver, risk breaking their machines, and yeah, I understand a lot of other, and I mean, because a lot of the people say, ho, oh, just get a screwdriver and tear the system apart and um, torch, these, torch these things here. I mean, Gilksy, and I mean, it's like, why is Gilksy posted a video Showing how we have fixed the yellow light of death, and a lot of other people putting their PS3s in the boxes and heating them up with the hair dryer and putting them in the fan. I mean, that's not me. I'm also, I'm also not playing to send my PS3 in and charge them 180 and uh, like pay them 180 bucks to get it fixed. I mean, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't pay them money for their faults. And look, I understand, and look, I, I fully understand some of those videos, like, you know, these people who jam the CD, jam the disc and break into the system in here. And those people, hey, I can just um, drop the PS3 and put in the bits. I can understand those people paying 180 bucks. But for people who all of a sudden die on them because of the yellow light of death, they shouldn't be paying 180 bucks. They should, I mean, they should get the fix here. And there's some other person that's posted to me, Oh, look, you have to turn the system off completely and you'll avoid the yellow light of death. 
And um, let me tell you this here. Um, the power source is nothing to do with the outlight of death. If it was a power failure, um, the system would have just turned off black and, and the yellow light and, and um, the yellow light wouldn't appear. The yellow light of death is clearly a general hardware failure. It's not a power failure. It's it's. And the other thing um, with the hard drive is if your hard drive um, is broken. Um, what your system does is it loads up and it just gives you an error, uh, a hard drive corrupted corrupted error and the, this hard drive is corrupted and the data will be restored. Um, that's the hard drive fault. And for Sony to tell, and for Sony to say the yellow light of death is caused by a variety of problems, could be a hard drive failure like that. No, the yellow light of death is clearly caused by, um, 95% of the yellow light of death is, um, or 99% or whatever, is really caused by the chips that are overheating. And um, that's what I have to say. And here's video number 18. And this is the Nor'Eastern. Ah, uh, Sony. Hey YouTube, this is Shredder58 and I'm making this video because my PlayStation 3 died because of the red blinking light of death and let me just show you what it looks like first. Some people on other videos have said like to try and do a fan test and that doesn't even work. So on, let me show you. Finger on the eject button. Turn it on. That doesn't work. Um, I called Sony and at, asked them what uh, they could do, and they said that I could get it fixed, but since my warranty ran out, I would have to spend $160 before tax to get it fixed, and my brand new game is also stuck in there. And I really don't want to have to spend that much money, so if anyone knows how to fix it, then tell me, message me, whatever you want to do, because this really, really sucks. Alright, this morning I got up, turned my PlayStation 3 on, stepped out of the room for a few moments, and when I returned, I noticed that my TV was off, and then... I glanced down at my PlayStation 3 and I noticed that there was a flashing red light. So what I did was go and turn on the PS3. It stayed lit red like this. You know, I pressed it one time and it stayed lit. Then I went on. Thought that was very strange, so I pressed it again. And then it blinks the yellow light and then red afterwards. So, you know, I'll try it again. It stays lit red. Blinks yellow for a moment, blinks red. So, this is a 60 gigabyte model launch. I called Sony. They told me it was it would be one hundred and fifty dollars to get it repaired, plus another twenty five I believe for shipping. Obviously, I don't have that, and I'm very weary of taking it apart. And uh, for the simple fact that you know, I if I mess it up, then you know they won't fix it. 
So, I, I'm, I'm guessing... I'm guessing that I'm going to have to save up over time and get it repaired. Uh, so, I probably will not be on PlayStation Network for a long period of time. Except for when I'm over at my friend Foot Soldier 1882's house. It appears to me, I think it's most likely a power problem. Maybe if I can get it back here, back in here. It sounds like it wants to boot up, and then it shuts down. It clicks, shuts down. So, I guess I'll be on PlayStation Network one day. And, uh, not to mention that my, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is stuck inside and I cannot get it out. $600 system with a $60 game stuck inside with Sony wanting $150 for repairs and another $20 for shipping. I also tried taking out the hard drive to see if it would boot up without it and it did exactly the same thing. It still would blink red and you know flash a little yellow and then shut back down. Uh, on the hard drive, I have tons and tons of PSN games. I have all my saves that I've had since 2006. And, let's see, I have hundreds and hundreds of songs and pictures, irreplaceable pictures. You know, it's, that hard drive is completely full of Three, two, two and a half to three years worth of media, and I'm I'm worried that you know when I do get to send it in, are they going to erase my hard drive, which I've heard that they do. Um. I don't know, I'm very upset about it. I, you know, I prayed that it would never happen, and today I was greeted with the death of my PlayStation 3. Yeah, look, I got the old at death. It's crazy. Fucking, uh, I don't know how this shit happened. This shit is crazy, like, it came out of nowhere. I just got PSN cards, HDMI cables, then it just happened. Wow, like, shit's stupid. I'm fucking... I got headaches and shit. Shit's stupid. I don't got nothing to do, it's fun to break. Why? I'm not getting a new PS3. And <laughs> I'm not fixing it myself. Shit, I ain't touching that shit. I got too much files and all that dumb shit on there. Yo. Man. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this. See that? Look at that. See? That's not, that's, that's just why. That's just why, like, why? I 
tried all of that. Fucking, uh. Nah, the fucking shit is in there, yeah. Fucking do the fucking. I tried all that. I tried a bull tire trick. That worked for 15 minutes. And the thing is, my fucking sink stroke 2 is in here. So I don't got shit to do. This is crazy. I just bought PSN cards, though. Like, why? Man. YouTube, I need some help. Try some suggestions or something. Just help me, yeah. Oh, yeah. And on PSN, find me under Sean250, all caps, no spaces, and Afro563, all low caps, and no spaces. Find me under those two. Remember, all right? Hey, remember, it's Shizzy. Oh, fail. Yellow Light of Death because of Gran Turismo 5. Looks like I'm not the only one that's had this problem. Collector's Edition. Hello guys, as you can see, uh, I got PS3, and it's dead. I had the yellow light of death. I'm going to show you right now, guys. Okay. Button. See? It goes yellow. Now, you want to see that again? See? It goes yellow. That's to show you my PS3 is dead. I've had this PS3 for three years and look. And I still have my copy of Sherlock Holmes and Blu-ray in there. Fuck. Yeah, so hey guys, um... Move here or has one zero six, whatever you want to call me. And yeah, uh, tonight I was just playing a uh, spectating game of headquarters on terminal. Then my PS3 suddenly turned off. And then it started, and then there was a yellow light. Then it started to beep like that. And I thought it was just like I just had to restart it. So this is what I did.
pressed here, wouldn't turn on, pressed it again. Okay, so, yeah. So, this, uh, I looked it up on YouTube, and I told my dad, and I'm thinking it's the yellow light of death. That's what I'm thinking, because there was a yellow light before the red ones. That's just the thing. Okay. So, after I play for about, like, five to ten minutes, it suddenly turns off. Okay, maybe it's sort of hard to play with one hand, but, uh. so yeah, I'll just play for like two minutes or something until it turns off, then I'll show you. Okay, uh. see, it's perfectly fine right now, perfectly fine. Okay, let's just wait a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this, the yellow light of death really sucks. I don't even know why it's doing this. Like, my dad was saying that, like, it, it's, it's overheating and that's why. Something like that. But, I don't even know. Let's just play a quick game of, game of domination or something. Wait until it works. Whatever. <sighs> Just sit down. <sighs> Let's pick intervention. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, I'm playing with one hand right now, so. Don't think I'm bad. Anything like that. Well, that was a fail. Uh, where am I going to put the camera so I can actually play? Oh yeah, that is a Patrick thing that... That was on my birthday cake like... Three years ago or something, I don't know. Okay, we'll just wait until, like, happens. I'll just talk. Yeah, so... I don't know what's gonna happen if this is actually the yellow light of death. Because I don't think my dad's gonna buy me a new PS3. So, I'll just have to wait, I guess. I'm getting pretty bored this summer. <laughs> oh, oh, he, here we go, here we go. Exactly, that's pretty sure that's the yellow light of death. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna be making any more videos soon because, yeah, you just saw what happened. And, uh, yeah, this really sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the PS3 anymore. Yeah, so this has been Moof here or, or Jeremy. Or has one zero six six, and yeah, peace. All right, hello YouTube. This is Kill Marksman, and my PS3 recently had the yellow light of death. I did, like it. It was. It didn't work. I was gonna make a video of it, like it crashed, and now it all of a sudden works. It's doing an update right now. It's like. 48 percent. Um. Yeah. Um. I think it's gonna crash soon, so I'm just gonna make a video of it crashing. Just wait a minute. Let me for the update. Yeah, like last time when it crashed tried to fix it and it did work long enough for me to get Modern Warfare 2 out of there. See? I got Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I play on PS3. 
PSN Killer Marksman. So we got the game in there. Was inside this little naughty machine over here, but got it out luckily. So if it doesn't crash soon, I don't know. Like it's, every, everything's okay with it. It's like it has like a few scratches on it. Like I have everything for it. Oh, there it is, see? Yellow light of death. Yeah, see? Yeah, just crashed. Let's try it again. See? That's what happened last time. It goes on, but it... See? Oh, there it is. Like, mine, I have a weird yellow light of death, like, mine goes on, and then it turns off later. Like, I had this, I had yellow light of death two times before, what do you want? Do it again, I'm not sure. Mm. Um, yeah, so you got the red light, and then turn it on, and do it again. There we go. And it turns off again. That's really weird. I had the yellow out of death three times. This is like my fourth time. And it's never done that before, so I don't know. When I tried to fix it last time, the guy, he modded the fan, so I don't know if I like fucked something up with it or... I'm not sure, so. Yeah, but. Turn that sucker off. So, yeah. I should be getting a new one soon enough. Like, I don't know. I just only bought that, too. If you can't see it on PlayStation card. I got the map pack. The. Uh, stimulus? No, 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 no. Resurgence, my bad. Um, yeah. So. I guess that's it. And I'll see you next time. Alright, it's been about 10 hours since I last tried to turn it on. We're gonna see if it works. Fuck! Yep, definitely yellow light of death. Oh. I'll fix it whenever I get a soldering iron.